Large crowds turned out for the 2014 ACC Women's Outdoor Track and Field Championship on the campus of the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. Florida State entered the event as the favorite after having won the ACC Indoor Championship just seven weeks earlier. The Seminoles started strong as sophomore Darren A. Freeman jumped her way to gold in the long jump with a leap of 20 feet, nine and three quarter inches and giving FSU an early lead. As the sun set on day one, ACC Indoor Track Scholar Athlete of the Year recipient Juliet Bodorf raced her way to victory in the 10,000 meter in an ACC record time of 32 minutes and 53 seconds, almost five seconds faster than the previous record. Day two brought with it colder temperatures, but the action on the track was still very hot and hectic. Wake Forest sophomore Jesse Merkel got the day started with an ACC record throw of 177 feet, earning her gold in the javelin for the second year in a row. In the heptathlon, FSU redshirt freshman Greta Sadeko earned the gold medal just 11 months removed from ACL surgery with a total of 5,706 points. Her point total was the highest for any FSU athlete in the heptathlon in school history. Back on the track in one of the championship's most unique events, the steeplechase, Florida State continued their winning ways as junior Colleen Quigley ran her way to gold in a time of just over 10 minutes and 9 seconds, helping propel the Seminoles into a commanding 30-point lead with only one day of action remaining. The final day of action saw wet conditions and even colder temperatures, but that did not slow down Florida State. For the second year in a row, sophomore Kellyon Nib tossed her way to gold in the discus with a throw of 177 feet, extending the Seminoles' lead even more. Notre Dame made a late surge, though, when junior Jade Barber raced her way to gold in the 100-meter hurdles in a time of just under 13 seconds, helping the Irish to a second-place finish in the overall team standings. The Hurricanes of Miami also made a late push as Alyssa McClure sprinted her way to the gold in the 100-meter dash in a time of 11.62 seconds, giving the Canes a respectable third-place finish. In the end, Florida State's lead was just too much to overcome as they captured their third title in school history and won the triple crown of track by winning the indoor and outdoor track championship as well as the cross-country title. Well, the women winning the Triple Crown, that was their goal in the year. Coach Harvey and Cross Country make that possible. They get it started. I mean, we're FSU, like James Winston stand. We're the best. Like, I feel like we haven't given anybody a doubt to, to actually doubt about it, that we're not, not the best. So that's what we do.